this is Manoamin Creek. And this is a area that's kind of grew up coming to a lot with my, my dad and a few of my uncles. We hunt here, sometimes trap here. And a few times I got to harvest wild rice here with my dad. We, we, we didn't do it all the time, but he um, just wanted to show us how it's done and <laughs> said someday you're gonna you're gonna have to do this you're gonna have to rely on it someday you, you never know <laughs> so uh, one of our one of our medicine plants we use um, can be gathered pretty much any time of the year except for winter I'm, I just pulled this plant out just to, to show you you, you don't want to pull all the plants out <laughs> you just kind of want to dig so how do you Take the root system and not pull the plant up. Just break it. If you feel the roots, then you can break off. Okay. You dig underneath the plant, the base of the plant. Those the roots grow down into the to the side of the river banks or ponds to the mud. And you dig underneath it and dig the roots out. And you clean them up and you let it dry in the sun or dry for a couple days and it's ready to use. And you could just eat it right there too. You usually just look on the sides of the, the rivers or swamp areas and, and look for the, I guess the leaf of the, of the plant. It grows maybe three, four feet tall. And it's kind of wide, kind of like a blade, a knife blade of sword. It has a certain color to it top is kind of dark green and it starts fading to a lighter green and the bottom of the plant it's kind of white pinkish red and that's how I can identify the plant and sometimes you can even um, smell smell the plant how strong it is Make teas, you can use it as a smudge. Some people use it for pain too if you got a, a, a toothache. So it can be used like that. Sometimes I'll, I'll grind up some pieces and I'll keep it in another container so I can just use it as a smudge or make tea right away with it. <laughs> 